Yes, welcome, use me face. Um, this is the second time I tried to film this video and look, see those zeros? That's supposed to be a whole bunch of bigger numbers. We click on one of the ones with the zeros and it's corrupt. I've tried fixing it. Trust me, I've tried fixing it a lot um, and it's just, it's just gone um, again. It's very frustrating, but um, I'm just gonna film some questions right here and put them at the end of the video. So I apologize for that. Um, but here is the video nonetheless. So, just trying to get the camera to focus. There we go. I feel like this uh, could be a long one, so beverage required. What is going on everyone? Welcome to the Q&A. Um, it's just me here because, you know, quarantine business, can't do non-essential things. Although, this is work and Sam works, so. Basically, I put up a post on my Instagram stories. If you're not following me or everyone, it's linked down below. You should be following everyone on Instagram if you want to see what is going on. Um, you guys went ham. I have so many questions. I'm not going to be able to reply to every single one because um, there is just a lot, like a lot. So I'm going to go through, without even looking at these, I know which question is going to be the most asked. So I'm just going to start out with that without even reading them. When am I turboing the Truby? Am I going to turbo the Truby? I'm in two minds. Yes, it needs a turbo, it needs a bit more power, but I just feel like if I'm gonna turbo it, um, it's probably gonna die and blow up at some point. So is it really worth turboing it or just putting that money towards an engine swap? That's where I'm at. I don't think I'll turbo it. I think I'll save the money and do an engine swap instead of you know doing bits and pieces and taking things off and then losing money in the long run. And now I can already hear it down below in the comments. Well, what engine are you putting in it? You should put this one, that one, petrol, diesel. Guys, just chill. <laughs> Please calm down. Um, I don't know. Everything is on the table at the moment. Diesel and petrol. Let me just quickly list my reasoning. And I hate talking about this because there's people that are like, diesel's a life, petrol's a life, six cylinder turbo's a life, V8's a life. Like, just, just calm down, all right? Just chill for a second. Just, just stop, okay? The reason why petrol is on the cars, um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm just here to have fun. Drive this car hard because it's fun. I like sending it because it's fun. I like loud noises because it's fun. Um, not saying diesels can't do that either. Petrol engines, you know, well, one, they're a hell of a lot cheaper to buy in the first place, just the, the engine itself. Two, petrols, they can get rowdy. They can get a bit rowdy, let's be honest. Not saying diesels can't, I'm just saying petrols can easier and cheaper. There's all those arguments about torque and all that. Oh, just, just, just please don't. <laughs> please don't. But yeah, that's why I don't know what engine is going in this. Haven't made up my mind. Engine swap is on the table though, instead of turboing it. Because um, I just feel like I'll turbo it, but die, then I'll be engine swapping it anyway. So, with that big one over, please don't freak out in the comments. Now I'm gonna go through, pick out some questions, um, try and mix it up a bit. First one, will you ever do some street car stuff again like the old days? Um, that's from me, mate Mitch. Other Mitch, not, not hundreds of years Mitch. I wouldn't mind it. I still, I like street cars. If I could have one, I would. I would have a four wheel drive and a street car. I like filming them. It's a different kind of filming. Previous video, that was kind of like a street car filming kind of take instead of a four wheel drive filming take. I don't know. It's a different style. It's fun. Yeah, I'm just not really in that field. I would like to though. Can you sponsor me? If you give me the money, I'll sponsor you. How many Ks on the Troop Dog? Uh, it's on like 487 at the moment. So quite a few. Um, you can definitely see it in certain areas. Ooh, um, I gotta pick my words carefully about this one. What's your take on the whole influencer shit on Instagram? Well, I don't know if people can tell, I don't really get involved with um, a lot of people on Instagram. Um, or a lot of people in general. <laughs> I'm not saying they're bad people. Um, I'm just saying that this whole clout business on on Instagram and all of that is just stupid. I don't get around it, I don't get involved with it. I think it's dumb and I think it brings a very bad rep to the four wheel drive world because it's the same with the street car world. Like every, people just hate on other people's builds and they're like, why'd you do that when you should have done this? I don't get that, that's stupid. I don't understand that, it's not your car. Just leave it alone. People can do what they want to do. It doesn't affect you in any way. And then the rest of it, I don't agree with hating on people's content either. 
Um, people make their own content, it works for them. People can do whatever the hell they want. If people are watching it, then people are watching it. If people are liking the photos, people are liking the photos. They're not single-handedly making it the worst thing in the world. Um, you are by saying it is the worst thing in the world. It's not saying if someone does something really like horrible that they shouldn't be called out because they should be. I'm just saying all this like little back and forth like Instagram stories directed at certain people without actually directing it at people is just really dumb and I don't like it. We're out here to build cars, go four wheel drive and go camp and experience the bush, not to have this stupid argument on Instagram. Sorry. I hope that answers your question. I hope I didn't offend anyone. Man, I got really worked up about that. Good question. <laughs> but yeah, seriously, just take a step back. And just realize what we're all here for. We all build our own builds. We all go to our own spots. We all have our own style of all driving. We all drive as hard or as soft as we like. We all have different opinions on different things. It's just how it is. You can have a conversation. Don't just shit on people's builds, shit on people's pages, shit on people's content for no reason. It's just not what we're here for. I hope that was really clear and it really pisses me off. <laughs> and I didn't realize how much it pissed me off until now. Do you ever wish you bought another wagon instead of a Truby 80 GQ or something alike? Um, and above that is um, a Truby compared to a Ute. Not really. Um, the only thing that I don't really like about this car is that um, it's got leaves in the rear. Um, if I did a coil conversion on this car, mate, I would probably never get rid of it. But yeah, not really. Um, I quite like the Truby. Um, I like that it's stripped back. Um, I know GQs are too, but they just don't really suit what I want to do. Um, and I hate getting into this argument. It's the same thing I talked about at the start of the video. It's like, Toyota's better, Nissan's better. You know, like, oh, just stop. I don't care. <laughs> um, cars are cars. I like patrols. Would I own one right now? Um, I wouldn't replace the Troopy for one. Um, I just like this car too much. I enjoy how different it is um, and where it's going to end up. It's probably going to be quite different um, and I like that a lot. It certainly comes with its own challenges, um, extra things that you need to do which you don't have to do on other cars. Wagons compared to utes, well, utes are, in my opinion, a lot better for four wheel driving because um, you've got less panels that you can hit, less weight at times. reason why I like wagons is um, when I'm taking a lot of expensive camera equipment away with me, um, I want to know that that stuff is going to stay dry. Um, I know you can spend heaps of money and get mint canopies and everything, but I quite I enjoy wagons. I also like the look of wagons, but I like everything being enclosed. But when you are out on the tracks, you're like, a ute would make my life a lot easier. And again, it's just all about what you want, what you need, certain preferences. You can build anything to whatever you want. Um, like, the possibilities are endless. You could have the worst car in the world and turn it into the best car in the world. You know, it doesn't matter. But yeah, you just gotta choose what suits you. Um, and for me, a wagon suited me better. There's two reasons why I bought a Tribute. Two main reasons, anyway. Um, one, sleep in the back. Um, I I hate setting up camp and I hate packing up camp. Um, so being able to sleep in the car is a game changer. I don't have to bring a swag, tent or anything. Just buddy, throw a pillow in the back and bob your uncle. Oh, can this rain go away? I'm trying to film a video. Um, you're just gonna have to deal with the rain noise, it's not stopping. Um, I'm gonna wrap this video up pretty soon though. Second reason why I bought a trippy was you should follow him on Instagram, Sights and Sounds Australia. I saw that thing and I was like, I love it. That's it. Um, that thing is insane. You should go look at it. Um, although, Ryan, this is a 78 series, yours is 75. So I feel like we got a bit of an edge. Um, but honestly, that car is so, so good. I love it to pieces. Um, but yeah, you should go check that out. If you, if you like the look of this one and you want to build something kind of similar, go look at Sights and Sounds Australia. You will, be, you will be blown away. What engine is in Sam's car? It's a 1HDT. Should I buy a Troopy? Um, do you want one? There you go. Um, they're pretty good. You have potential, but you're not using it. Okay. Um, best first mods to a four-wheel drive. It all depends on what um, comes on the car already when you buy it. Um, tires, very important. Bar work is very important. And a winch and a snorkel. I'd say that's like your most important things. And then diff locks too, if you want to go four-wheel driving. 
and then also it's a tips for beginner four-wheel drives. I would still classify myself as a beginner four-wheel drive. I've only had this car a year, um, and this is the first four-wheel drive that I've had. So I would still say I'm a beginner four-wheel driver. I would say best tip for a beginner four-wheel driver is to not just go out there thinking you're the man, because you're just not. I rely heavily on the people around me when we go forward driving to make sure that I don't stuff things up. Um, I know I like to send it. Um, I hit tracks pretty hard in this thing. Um, and some people are like, oh, you need to drive softer. You know, you're just gonna break things. I'm like, yeah, I know I'm gonna break things. And when I do break things, I'm not that upset when I break them because I drive it hard. But in saying that, like I drive it hard, but I do know my limits. I know when I'm starting to feel uneasy or a bit uncomfortable. And that's when, like, I'll say, hey, Sam, can you guide us through this? Can you tell me exactly what is going on? So yeah, just don't go out there thinking you are the man. I think we're gonna have to wrap this video up because it's getting noisier and noisier in here. Real quick, honest opinion on the front auto locker. I'm gonna make a video about that. Um, I don't like doing reviews. I don't have enough knowledge and I don't feel comfortable giving advice. Um, so I'm gonna make a video just stating how I found it, uh, my experience. It's not a review and I'm not gonna tell you to buy it. I don't buy it. All right, here I am. It doesn't look as nice, but it's gonna be the same thing. All right, questions that I liked that I missed. Um, well, I didn't miss, the camera just decided to uh, not work properly. What would you be doing if cameras and cars didn't exist? <laughs> that question sums up my life. Um, cameras and cars, that's all I do. If cameras and cars didn't exist, um, I certainly wouldn't have the job that I have. I certainly wouldn't be doing YouTube. I definitely wouldn't have the mates that I have at the moment. And I wouldn't be the person that I am today. Yeah, um, in all honesty, I think I would be chasing dollars. Um, I'd be going for the big bucks, um, and that's not very healthy. Um, but honestly, that's probably, yeah, that's probably what I would be doing. This whole filming business and the full drive scene and the car scene um, has helped keep me really grounded, and has definitely kept me on track to be the person that I want to be. So yeah, I would probably be a scumbag. Current camera setup. You're watching me on the Canon R. Basically every video is filmed on the Canon R. Love this camera, it's super good. Um, I also have a 1DX Mark II, which if you know, that's bit pricey I don't recommend you buy that but it takes amazing photos but yeah all videos are filmed on the Canon R I shoot 1080p um, lenses that I use all the time is currently you're on a 16 to 35 mil L series and then I've also got a 24 to 70 L series and an 85 millimeter Samyang Prime it goes down to f1.2 that thing is amazing all right what else we got do you have any big trips planned in the future we would like to go on big trips um, if someone wants to pay us to go on big trips, that'd be good. We've got bills to pay, so yeah. Oh yeah, dream rear setup. Basically in the rear setup, I am going to be making my own setup. It's going to be a draw kind of style setup because I'm not a fan of the more caravan style because of what I do, which is full, like proper for all driving. Um, but dream rear setup would be a pop top conversion. Um, one of the, I can't remember what brand it is, but it, um, it's pretty seamless with the roof, so you can barely even tell. If you actually go over and look at Sights and Sounds Australia's um, Troopy, that has the pop top that I want. I've seen that thing in person too, and yeah, really like it, and really nice bloke. So yeah, dream rear setup would definitely be a pop top conversion. Oh, the Troopy is a daily driver. I like it. I don't really have any problems daily driving it. It's a big car, but all four wheel drives are big cars. I find it pretty comfortable. Um, probably because it has the coil front. By the way, it's 2000 model, it's a 78 series, so it has the coil front end. Um, I believe that does make a big difference. But yeah, the 1HZ on the road really isn't that bad. Um, like it's slow, like it takes a little bit to get up to speed sometimes, but it sits on speed limits pretty easy. I don't really have an issue with it. I get about 13 to 14 liters per 100, um, which all things considered, that's pretty good. Yeah, the, the turning circle sucks. It's a long car, uh, but it's a skinny car. Currently my car is 2.06 meters high, so I fit in underground car parks. I'm running 33s on stock height suspension. Only thing I've done to the suspension is two inch big bore shocks. So it's still stock height, stock springs, stock leaves, all, all that. The headlights on the Troopy, they're steady carbons. Uh, they're really good. Not that expensive either. Um, good on the road, not really any glare off any signs. Um, I like them a lot. They made a big difference to or driving at night and also just the overall look of the car. Are you scared of rolling the Troopy and then below that is uh, roof racks? No, I don't want to put a roof rack on because then I would be scared of rolling the Troopy. Reasons why. It had a roof rack when I bought it. I took it off, um, if you remember. Basically, if you don't make it top heavy, troop carriers are not top heavy. They can be made top heavy very easily. So 
I understand why people think they're going to roll. The roof line is higher, um, but there's nothing there. Um, so if you put a roof rack up there that sits up high and put a lot of weight up on that roof rack, then yeah, it's top heavy and you're more likely going to roll. I have never been in a situation where I felt sketchy um, and thought that I was going to roll in that car. It hasn't been in a crazy situation though, but I haven't once felt like, oh, this thing is going to tip. I haven't felt that. They're deceiving. Uh, what's the worst thing a passenger has done or could do? I haven't really had any bad passengers. Probably the worst thing that people do to me is turn the freaking music down. If I if I turn the tunes up, that means I want to listen to tunes. Don't turn me tunes down. I'm the one driving. But yeah, I haven't really had any bad passengers. Probably the worst thing you could do ever is grab the steering wheel. Um, that would just end badly. I think turning the music down is pretty high up there. <laughs> or changing the song. If you put on a song, if you're driving and you're like, yo, put that song on because I want to listen to it and the passenger's like, nah, or the song comes on and then you're like, I love this song and then the passenger skips it because like, I don't want to listen to it. It's like, get stuffed, get out of my car, all right? I'm doing you a favor, get out of my car. Yeah, I like tunes. <laughs> what else have you got? Film a zook, I would love to, I just need a good zook. Oh, rear bar. Um, I have no fabrication skills, so I cannot build it myself. Um, I'd love to have fabrication skills, but I don't. So maybe in the future, rear bar, it's kind of in the works at the moment. Um, obviously, it's going to be Razzler. Come on, guys. The bar work on the car is Razzler. With that could come a rear quarter chop. I would like to do a rear quarter chop. I just got to talk to the boys over at Razzler, see what they can do, throw some ideas around. But yeah, it's going to be a Razzler rear bar. It really needs a rear bar, if you can't tell. It's the stock one is beat up. Oh, opinion on the Maxxis Razors. I don't really have a lot to compare them to, but also coming from a car that had zero sound deadening, uh, they were quiet on the road. They seem to be good off-road, they're quite good on-road. From what other people have said who have a lot more experience and knowledge than me, they also reckon that they're really good. So yeah, take that as you will. I'm happy with them. I would try another tyre, just so I have something to compare it to. Um, availability on stickers, I know everyone wants stickers. Um, the world is running really slow, okay? Um, so I'm waiting on them. Um, goals for the Troopy in the next year. I don't know, actually. I didn't answer that one before. I don't know. I just want to do fun, cool things to it. I just like to have fun with it, <laughs> to be honest. I don't really have a, a set plan. I just want to keep doing things to it, make it neater. Um, that's really the main thing is keep it, keep it clean. I don't want to have a jerry-built car. I want an actual, like, proper proper built one. Oh yeah, what do I do for work? Um, I work in marketing, uh, which explains all the all the camera gear and the filming and all that. I'm gonna make another video kind of dedicated to like me so people actually know who I am because I've realized that people have no idea um, who I am at all because I'm kind of like an outsider in the four-wheel drive world because I'm not a tradie, uh, I'm not a, not a mechanic, I haven't worked on cars my whole life, you know, I just film things and edit things. Um, and I'm learning. I definitely feel like I'm a bit of an outsider when it comes to that. Yeah, I'm gonna make a video kind of all about like me and filming and all that because that's really where I came from. Um, if you actually followed my Instagram, you would have seen a story like nearly a week ago that actually went in depth about me. So yeah, you should really be following all the Instagrams. They're linked below. But yeah, that's gonna do for this video. I'm sorry if I missed your question. There was a lot of questions um, and I'm sorry that it kind of got chopped together this video because I had corrupt files twice in a row um, and I'm running out of time today. It is 4.30 and I have stuff to do. So I've got to smash this video out right now. Still answered your questions, it's just not quite as pretty in here. So thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Catch you guys there. Cup of coffee on the